Hi everyone, welcome to Accounting 371. Uh, my name is James Webb. I'm your facilitator for the course. I'll also be your facilitator for 372. So look forward to getting to know each of you over the next couple months uh, as you wrap up the degree completion program. This is one of the last classes in the program, I think. So congratulations on making it this far. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the course. I introduce myself and um, just give you a couple updates so we can hit the ground running uh, as we get going in workshop one. Uh, the book that we're using is Fundamentals of Taxation 2010. It's got Mr. Lincoln here on the cover. Make sure that you have the uh, 2010 book, not the 2009, because all of the tax rules are updated, and that changes every year, so you really can't use the old edition. Hopefully you have that. It comes with a tax act software uh, in the front cover. Make sure that you pull this out. Go ahead and install it. What you do there is it has all the forms there, and you'll do a lot of work in that program uh, on the particular when you have the tax return problems that you submit for each workshop. Uh, you'll do those in the tax software, save it as a PDF and submit that to me uh, in the uh, assignment section. So make sure you have the book and make sure you have the uh, CD and go ahead and take a minute to uh, introduce yourself in the bio section or the autobiography section of the discussion forum. Uh, if you want, I've enabled uh, the attachment feature there so you can post a picture. I would figure some of you guys have taken a number of courses together uh, in your cohort, but uh, Go ahead and paste your intro there as well. If you've written it out many, many times before, I'd like to go ahead and get to know you and you know uh, what your background is, where you're living, family, uh, what you hope to do at the conclusion of this program, anything you want to talk about there, um, go ahead and um, post it. If you have a picture as well, that'd be great to put a face with a name. A little bit about myself. I'm finishing a PhD at the University of Michigan uh, in higher education administration. Uh, my primary background is accounting. I did a bachelor's and master's in accounting from the University of Texas. I uh, worked for about six years uh, in public accounting and private. Um, worked first at KPMG doing audit. KPMG is one of the large big four accounting firms. Worked in their Dallas office for about three years and then went to Hastings Entertainment, their corporate office, which is in Amarillo, Texas. I was their director of outside reporting. So I did the SEC reporting, which is the forms that you file every quarter with the government as well as their investor relations. So any financial information that came outside the company, that's kind of what I did. Uh, I haven't directly had a tax uh, full-time position, but it's taken plenty of tax courses and taught tax before, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you, give you some good guidance and, and walk you through the things that you need to know in this particular course and things you need to know for the field uh, if you do want to take a tax job. Uh, obviously, not all of you are going to do that, but uh, it's good to know uh, these tax rules, whether you're going to do your own return or whether it comes up in your career as well. So I uh, look forward to getting to know each of you. Uh, post something in the autobiography and let me know about you. The way that the course works is uh, for each workshop, there's six workshops. Uh, the main thing that you're going to do is a, there's a Word document there for a template uh, that has some short answer uh, questions, multiple choice questions, uh, and then some tax problems as well that you'll submit. Um, I'll go ahead and be straightforward with you and tell you that this is a lot of work for this particular course. I don't say that lightly. I've taken or I've taught uh, four different uh, versions of uh, Indiana Wesleyan courses in the program. This is by far the, the highest work requirement, particularly the first three weeks. We do uh, two chapters per week, so for the first three weeks of the workshop, we uh, cover six out of the 15 chapters in the book, so that's 40% of the book uh, in three weeks' time, so we want to make sure that you get a jump on it right now, and uh, if you fall behind, you fall behind pretty fast, and um, we'll have difficulty catching up, so I'll give my strongest encouragement to you to, uh, over the first three weeks in particular, uh, make sure that you're spending a good amount of time. Uh, it's a lot, and it's a lot of grading, too, so I don't say that... Uh, putting all the burden on you, but these Word documents uh, that you'll submit have a lot of manual grading, and so I'll try to give you good feedback and help you out as much as I can. But make sure that you stay on top of it. Post questions in the discussion forum that's part of the grading, um, but also will help you a lot as you do the problems. I'm pretty good at um, checking in the discussion forum several times a day, uh, also replying to emails, so if you have questions there, you have the link in the um, facilitator information under um, the discussion board, uh, you have my email there, or if you need my phone number, if you need to talk something about the course, uh, about uh, submission deadlines or anything like that, you can give me a call, 734-276-6417 is my number. Uh, feel free to call me if you have something that we need to talk about over the phone rather than email. I uh, really look forward to getting to know you guys. Uh, if there's questions that you have about the class or about uh, career opportunities or even life in general, if you need somebody to pray with you or talk about life events, I'd be happy to talk with you even on topics that aren't tax or accounting related. So uh, let me know uh, if you ever need anything. I look forward to uh, working with you, and we'll see you in discussion forum number one as we get going next week. Thanks.